This video is brought to you by Hollow 12. Hollow 12 biology courses are aligned with the curriculum of over 150 countries. Evidence for evolution. How do we know that evolution exists? Various scientists have found and studied things that they consider evidence of evolution. Bacterial resistance against antibiotics is considered proof of evolution. It proves that evolution can occur over time based on the conditions favoring the characteristics that help bacteria survive. Studying genetics also supports the theory of evolution because it explains how characteristics can pass from one generation to the next. Humans have also found fossils of extinct organisms, which gives further support for evolution because we can see what certain species used to look like and compare them to what they look like today. Fossils. This is a fossil of a giant dinosaur. This fossil proves that dinosaurs existed a long time ago. If fossils did not exist, we would not have known that dinosaurs existed on Earth. So, what are fossils? Fossils are the remains of dead organisms, such as plants and animals, that were present millions of years ago. These fossils also help us to study evolution in organisms. The organisms that existed millions of years ago can be studied using them. Fossils can be formed in three different ways. In the first method, some parts of the organisms do not decay as the conditions needed for decay are not available. An example of this is amber. Amber is a fossilized tree resin in which an organism gets entrapped. Here, oxygen and moisture are not available, due to which some parts of the trapped organism do not decay. Take a look at this amber containing a trapped insect. This type of fossil formation is also seen in an extremely cold environment where decomposers cannot survive. So, dead organisms remain as fossils. The second method is when some parts of the dead organisms are replaced by minerals. These include bones, teeth and shells. These structures take a long time to decay, and before they do, they get replaced by minerals, and thus, convert into rocks. Finally, fossils can be found in the form of footprints. When the impressions of footprints are formed on a soft clay-like material, they stay there, and once hardened, they remain as fossils of that organism. Go to our website, hollow12.com, to find out more about our great courses. Thank you. See below for links and don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell to keep notified of our latest videos.